hi guys welcome back to my channel cooking it up with ro today what i'm going to be making is my cornbread chicken pot pie this recipe it is easy quick satisfying it's not salty a lot of things can be done from scratch here um and guys just keep in mind the ingredients will always be listed in the description box below and don't forget to like comment and subscribe So this is just showing you how I make my own vegetable broth. You don't have to do this. You can buy your own vegetable broth or buy it already made at the store. Solely your preference. Um, everything else is going to be pretty self-explanatory. So I'm going to allow for the video to continue to play and I'll check back in with you guys. Alright guys, now that we have that chopped up, let's go ahead and go straight into seasoning our meat. Season to your liking. I did not use any measurements, but I will try my best to put approximates within the description box below. And again guys, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. So now that we have that seasoned, we're going to go ahead and prepare to sear our chicken. Just go in with whatever oil you have. I'm using grapeseed oil and I'm going to sear it on each side for about five to six minutes. Go ahead and flip your meat guys don't let it burn you're just cooking it down well enough to where you will be able to pull the meat apart to chop it up to include within the the pot pie and while the chicken is cooking you could go ahead and add your vegetables into the broth that's been boiling and um, once you get those added in, you're going to give it a quick stir and then place the lid on it and allow it to continue to boil while you complete the preparation for the cornbread mixture and etc. Now done, we're going to go ahead and remove it from the pot so that we can prepare 
here to chop it up. So you want to go in and just cut the meat away from the bone. And once you get all the meat cut away from the bone, it should look like this. And I'm just going to chop it into smaller pieces. So now we're going to go ahead and make our cornbread mixture. You can just follow the instructions on the box. I'm using two boxes of Jiffy cornbread, two eggs, and um, two third cups of milk. So I will say adding sugar is optional. I added about a teaspoon, although I'm using a tablespoon. I did not use the entire tablespoon. But add a little bit of sugar to it, guys. This is so now we're going to start your pot pie go ahead and add in the different creams of chicken that you may have I'm using one family size and two of the regular size cans of uh, cream of chicken and cream of chicken and herb soup So now I'm going in with about a half a cup of water just to mix everything well um, together and after I add the half a cup of water and I get it smoothed out some, I'm going to go in and then I'm going to add a half a cup of the vegetable broth that we made earlier um, within the video. So this is all going to give it its own flavor and I'm not mentioning the flavor that's already included within the soup itself. And again guys don't forget to like comment and subscribe and just so you guys know the potatoes was included within the pot of vegetables we boiled instead of pouring off that juice so that you can use the vegetables um, strain the the broth that was from the vegetables and put it into a container or something like that so that you could keep it as you can see the vegetables are being added but there's no broth within it because I preserved the, the broth within the jar. And guys this is the easy part you're just basically adding everything one by one so now I'm adding the chicken and I'm just mixing well making sure it's um, combined evenly throughout the entire pan which I'm using about a 9 by 10 baking So once you get everything combined, just go ahead and pour the cornbread mixture evenly on top. Um, you want to make sure it's even because if not, one side is going to have a thicker um, part of cornbread and the other won't. You, you want to preheat your oven at 400 degrees Fahrenheit and let it bake. Mine's baked for about 40 minutes and this was the finished result. Um, I'm just putting a little bit of butter on top of my cornbread and I'm going to let it sit for about 10 minutes before I cut into it to prepare to serve. Alright guys and I hope you guys try this recipe and again don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and thank you so much for watching. See you guys next time.